What's popping with you, my collectors? It's White Butterfly Ascension. Coming to get my Libras. Y'all reading for this week from August the 17th to August the 23rd. We got That's the Way Love Goes, Janet Jackson. So y'all finally realizing that it is what it is. Like a mortal flame burned by the fire. So y'all torching that shit. Letting it go. What doesn't serve y'all, y'all done with it. What's not helping y'all, y'all done with it. If it's not something that you can work with, you letting it go. Because we gotta love ourselves first, right? That's grown. See? He said, My love is blind. Can't you see my desires? So maybe y'all love was blind, but you seeing now that it's time to release things, people, places that no longer serve you. That's crown. See what's coming towards y'all this week, Libra. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So somebody wanna light some candles. And somebody been controlling. Trying to control the situation. Trying to control the outcome. But the more you try to control something, the more you lose control can't control nothing or no one but yourself and the sooner you realize that the better off you'll be somebody might be in their feelings this week but let's get with this message someone likes the west the letters somebody's scared they limited they self, keeping they self back from they self. Holding back the real them. I'm hearing the song, The Real Her by Drake. So, y'all in separation. You're longing for this person, trying to control how the outcome is, control how the situation is. But again, the more you try to hold on, the more that you lose control. See? Clinging, trying to hold on to something that doesn't serve you, whether it's a fear, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation. Let go and let God. Stop holding on to things that no longer serve you. Maybe dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Or someone has fire in their chart. Attraction. Mars taking in taking action on your desires. Something that you're passionate about. Quiet storm. My beat. I got a love offer coming. And you're not going to see this coming. It's going to be quiet. It's going to be on the low. On the low, low. Think it's a game? It ain't. Let's see. So you're limiting yourself from making an offer even though you're longing for this person. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Somebody wants to apologize, confirmation for what they did.
They want to claim you. They want to hold on to this relationship. Hold on to this connection. Because you are all that they want. You are all that they see. So, there's some type of change. Someone has the courage to change a situation. To come in with this apology. Speaking about your divine masculine. Who had an awakening, an epiphany. And who had to close out a cycle. Before y'all can get on the right path. Before this change can take place. Someone needed your forgiveness in order to change the situation. Maybe you were trying to control the outcome of the situation instead of letting go. You were set in your ways, but it left you in regret. That's why this person is ready to come and apologize to you. They want you to forgive them. Put a hundred percent in everything I do. Somebody from New York activated their higher self. They've had the clarity that they need. Someone working out a masculine energy, or maybe the masculine that you're dealing with is a fire sign. You know, put the shoe where it belongs. Someone had to, I told you, make a decision, release and surrender to the divine. Release and surrender to this change. We all know change is inevitable. We all know change is necessary. You've been loving on yourself lately, showing yourself some love, realizing that in order for you to get in order for you to get this new beginning, this love offer, someone had to change their mindset. Someone had to change how they usually do things. So you can get this reading. Someone is in regret. Somebody been wearing rose tinted glasses and working out their ego and their pride. Pride is the devil. Keep that in mind. So while you are being prideful or boastful, you're getting karma. Karma by Summer Walker. She said, I told you you should stay prayed. You should stay prayed up. You have to be open to receive, but you have to let go of control issues. This person has a lot of love for you. And I said, open, be ready to receive. So you can have this renewal. Stop trying to control the aspect. You got another card saying union. So y'all have a union coming. Someone just has to make the decision to let go of their ego and their pride. Let go of those toxicity patterns, those toxic patterns, toxic people. There is that Ace of Pentacles. I already told you. Open up and receive the gift that the universe is giving you. Maybe you got something that's going to happen significant in the winter time. There's going to be some type of rebirth. Communication is coming towards the Divine Feminine. Get y'all some tarot. 
Somebody been losing their mind over you, over this connection. Someone has been holding back their communication, not speaking their truth. Thinking in a dark night of the soul instead of thinking of a brighter picture, brighter day. See what else y'all got. Six of Swords. Someone is turning their back on a situation. That's that decision that they had to make. To turn it back on a situation that no longer served them. To complete a cycle in a cycle in a toxic pattern. Toxic thought process. Three of Cups. In the third party situation. Realizing that it no longer helps you holding on to toxic thoughts. Special day by Jaheem. Someone is ready to invest after making a decision to leave a third party, whether you've been working too hard, whether it's another person, whatever it is. You are now realizing that you're ready to put in the work. You're ready to put on. You're ready to put in the work. You're ready to balance the scales. Then you got the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini or either that's just confirming that lovers means choice. So you had to make a choice in the matter. You had to decide to stop holding back. Stop holding back your thoughts. Be honest about how you feel, what you feel. Stop trying to control the outcome. Stop trying to control the situation. And there's your card. Justice, you want to balance out the situation. Because you don't want to hold back anymore. Someone... It's ready to put their armor down. Someone is ready to fight for this connection. Someone that had burdens. They've been thinking, overthinking the situation, letting the burdens from the past, letting the burdens from a previous situation weigh them down. This person want to see what it's like to be with you. Build on this connection. Build on the foundation. They want to release these burdens. They're ready to give their love and stop holding back. They, they dream about you. I told you, they're ready to surrender. Ready to surrender to this connection. I'm hearing bended knee by boys to men. So they are ready to confirmation. Build a, a foundation. Come in with a new offer, a new opportunity because they see you as what they want. They see growth within this connection. Y'all got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So, someone has a lot of love. And then you got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So, the wheel is turning in your favor with this connection. This person 
has surrendered to this connection. They want a new passionate beginning to build a foundation so the will can turn in y'all favor. Because they realize what you mean to them. They realize that you are all that they want. <clears throat> they realize that you are the love of the life, love of their life. They getting out of this hangman. They ready to sacrifice it all for this connection, for y'all. Honestly, anything, oh, anything you want to do, this person want to do it. They want to have a heart to heart with you. Because they want to express their feelings towards you. Because they have deep feelings. Bedtime story, Bonnie James. That's that new passion. They want to lay you down. I'm hearing um, Sam Smith lay you um, lay by your side. So this person has had sleepless nights because y'all not together or y'all not on one accord. But they want to offer you this love. They're coming in to start something new. Balance out a situation. After walking away, possibly from a fire sign, but you got communication coming in. This person is praying that you give them another chance. Let's get y'all song. And this is our weekly reading. Just be open to receive this gift from the universe. This new beginning. You by Jacques. This song came out in the Leo reading. So y'all dealing with a fire sign for sure. Lonely is the only company. Maxwell. Maxwell is a Gemini. <clears throat> so that's confirming the choice of this person seeing you as their love. Your love is like a drug. Trey Songs is a Sagittarius. Fire. Got a lot of fire out here, so y'all dealing with a fire sign for sure. And this person is ready to come in and Make it happen, Captain. Offer you their love. Offer you their hearts. Offer you this new beginning. They ready for the will of turning your favor. Will you accept Libra? Guess we'll see. Let me know in the comments. Y'all be easy. Be safe.